Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here and I hope you'll find uh, a video on my channel that's interesting uh, to you including this one which is a biscuit taste test. Now I've got a selection here, some are new biscuits and some are ones that have been out for a while. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think of them and if there's any, any other biscuits, sweets or any other food you think I should try for future taste tests. Now, first ones we have today are these uh, dairy milk uh, mint fingers. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with Cadbury's fingers. Uh, you've got dairy milk chocolate uh, smothered on a finger shaped biscuit. It's a mint flavour. I don't think they've been out long. There's also some orange ones. I've tried them and also there's Bourneville ones which have been out for a while as well. And uh, Cadbury's fingers uh, are nice. So I'm sure these are going to be nice with a hint of uh, mint in them. Uh, so let's uh, open the box and see. And you know mint and chocolate of course a classic combination. Like I've said probably in every video I do of these uh, taste tests nice to get a nice uh, hit of um, whatever flavour you've got. Okay, do they smell of mint? Yeah, you can smell the mint. I'm guessing they're probably just a peppermint flavouring or something um, in there. Uh, yeah, just uh, mint flavouring. Okay, so I'm sure they've got smaller as well. Nice bit of mint, let's give them a try. Quite subtle. Very slight hint of uh, mint. Be nice probably to have a bit more. So they are nice. And then one of those ones that you know, have a nice cup of tea or share with friends, family, or um, you can, it's uh, quite easy to have quite a few. Um, now, moving on to these next ones, now I'm sure also we're all familiar with uh, Jammy Dodgers, but these are Jammy Dodgers Cola Bottle Flavour. Um, I found these in um, Farm Foods, um, if you're not familiar with uh, Farm Foods, it's a shop in the UK, it's kind of like Iceland, sells so a lot of frozen food as well as a selection of groceries and also some interesting flavours such as the Jamie Dodgers Cola Bottle of Flavour. Of course Cola Bottles are a, um, a very sort of, um, very, like, uh, the flavour hits you when you eat the sweets, they're quite um, sort of a hard hitting flavour. So, I don't know if these are limited edition or not. Um, but it's the first time I've seen them, I don't know how long they've been out. Um, so they're going to be interesting because of course jammy dodgers have that sort of, sort of uh, really jammy sort of stretchy bit in the middle of the biscuit. So these of course not going to be red, they're going to be brown inside because they're cola bottle flavour. Oh, do you know what? You can smell, they smell like cola bottle. Um, and of course they're uh, sandwiched between two sort of uh, shortcake biscuits. These are going to be nice, so let's give them a go and see what they're like. Hmm, you can really smell it. I need to have a bit of the middle bit because I didn't really get much of the cola bit. It's definitely not as, um, doesn't hit you as much as the sweet does. Um, and this might sound a bit strange, but if you get one of the sweets and pull it in like two between two um, shortcake biscuits and take a bite, you'd notice a difference compared to these. 
you can probably smell them more than you can taste them but they're nice actually um something different cola bottle you don't get that in uh, biscuits every day so they are nice and i always think the quality of biscuit on the jam dodgers are nice a nice um sort of shortcake type of biscuit okay like i say let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these and what you think of them um now these next one are prince chocolate flavor biscuits um it's got the uh, hero prince on the front there I, I don't know how he really connects with the biscuits i'm just guessing it's kind of one of those characters to appeal to children now what's interesting these are made by l u now it says on the back uh mondelez who of course own cadbury's uh, craft and quite a few other companies so they own the lu company as well now i don't know a lot about lu except I actually came across them, um, they, they, I understand they're a French bakery and they've released recently some, uh, I don't know if they're just new over here, but there's some, um, some French biscuits which I'll be um, reviewing in a future taste test, I'll look out for them. Um, so they're under that brand, so I'm guessing Mondelez own them as well. Now, interesting on the back it says, uh, the biscuits in this pack uh, have different patterns can you find them all can you find them all indeed it also says uh an adapted uh portion for a balanced snack could be shows a biscuit an apple and an empty glass plus a glass and it's supposed to be a glass of water or milk so there you go um now these i think are going to be similar to something i had as a child um a sort of plain biscuit with chocolate filling inside and i always Oh, it was a bit strange to have two plain biscuits with a chocolate filling inside because if you think of something like a um, a Foxy's uh, chocolate crunch cream you've got the nice creamy chocolate inside and then you've got the um, sort of chocolate biscuit covering it on either side so to have two plain biscuits um, around um, surrounding the chocolate always seems a bit um, Sort of strange but let's see yes yeah, they look like rich tea just a bit darker so yeah they're sort of um i don't know if this is the same brand or not i can't remember because they're in a, a packet like this um but they definitely look similar to um what I'm thinking of. So they've got different, I'm guessing different characters on them. And they've got the uh, Prince logo on them as well. So yeah, you've got a bit of chocolate filling inside. So let's give them a go. Yeah, you know exactly what I thought. Um, got the chocolate filling inside, plain biscuit. I would like to know if they are the same ones I had as a child. I can't remember if there was a Prince on the front or not, might have changed. Because the LU company has been going for a, a long time, apparently, I think it's 1800s or something. So, it could possibly be the same ones or just a similar biscuit. Let me know in the comments if you've had these or something similar. Um, yeah, but they are exactly as I thought they were going to be. Now, our next one. Now, these were uh, released for Christmas, uh, Twix Winter Spice Flavour. Um, and they had them uh, reduced in uh, B&M. Um, because obviously because they were for Christmas um, a limited edition winter spice so I guess you can't get hold of them now of course unless you just get managed to find somewhere we're selling them off um, so these were a pound for five now of course winter spice I'm expecting cinnamon nutmeg things like that just looking on the back seat um, there's an old oh, ginger yeah it just says spices caramel so 
um, to give a bit of colour as well. So it's probably just got like a spice mix in it. The Twix of course are classic. Well known biscuit. Oh yeah, so these are five in a bar, but look how small the bar is. I mean, so I'm hoping there's going to be a hint, a hit of spice when I open it. Yep, there is definitely. Okay, so. Hmm. Yeah, spice comes through. And um, it's very subtle, like most of the flavours in the biscuits, but it's nice. It's um I think it lifts the Twix biscuit up a bit. Um and if you like spices, if you like cinnamon, if you like um, nutmeg, things like that, you'll like them. So, yeah, they're good. Well done. Um, I'm going to at the end say what I think my favourites are. So, the last one we've got are these uh, Malteser biscuits and raspberry flavour. Now, I've tried the Malteser, uh, just the, just the Malteser flavour biscuits. Um, and Maltesers... If you like them, which I do, then you can't go wrong, and the biscuits are nice. Yeah, oh, I believe there's some orange ones as well. But raspberry, I thought, was interesting because not often a flavour you get in um, biscuits. So, and these say new. I don't think they've been out for that long. So, let's see. So you've got, like, the three um, representing the Maltesers. Yeah, a little bit of raspberry can smell. You got a nice crunchy biscuit. Not a lot of chocolate. I'd probably rather like a bit more chocolate on it, if I'm honest, because... Um, although Maltesers have quite a bit of biscuit, they do... A crunchy bit they do have quite a bit of chocolate on it as well hmm one thing I would say if if I was doing a blind test of them and I didn't know they're a raspberry I don't think I could predict like say what flavour that was, I don't think I could. Because it's not very obvious. Compared to like the Cuppy's Fingers, I think I could pick out the layer of mint. Whereas raspberry doesn't come through as well. So, what would I say are my favourites? Um, I think... I think the Twix Winter Spice, I think... Um, they have to come first, I think, because... Um, a nice uh, hit of spice, and like I say, they lift up the Twix biscuit. I think, and then I go for the um, Jammy Dodger Cola Bolt flavor because they are um, same different, and the Jammy Dodger biscuits are nice anyway. Um, now, where are we going to go next? Because the Prince biscuits, obviously, as I say, I've had something like that before as a child. You don't get a lot of filling in there, um, I must say. So I think maybe we're going to go for the Dairy Milk Fingers in the third place. And then probably, although the flavour don't come through that well, more teaser raspberry ones in fourth place, and then these in fifth place. Because they are chocolate flavour, which a lot, so they're not, you know, it's got a flavouring. Um, so, let me know what you think of any of these biscuits if you tried them. And of course, let me know any more flavours as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. And consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. 
um, because I don't just do taste test videos, I do gardening videos, cookery videos, um, top tens, uh, and a lot of retro stuff as well. Um, so have a look at my channel if it's your first time here, or if you haven't looked at, um, at any of my other videos, uh, please do take a look um, if you get time and uh, leave any comments because I do read the comments and uh, I like to know what videos people like and uh, what ones they'd like me to do more of as well. So thank you for watching and uh, there'll be more videos coming soon and ring that bell for notifications so you're notified when uh, I upload other videos because there's always at least one video uh, every week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.